All right, hello everybody. Uh, today you're gonna be doing, part of your assignment today is to go through a FET simulation and then to use these um, these PDF notes to kind of guide you through there. And there's some questions that go along with them. So uh, first off, um, you're gonna be doing a balancing equations worksheet today or balancing chemical equations FET um, and then answering questions that go along with it. Uh, so the FET, the first slide here um, talks to you about how to actually incorporate um, the process of balancing equations. So it tells you exactly what to do. Um, so this first one, I'm not going to go through it because you guys can all read. Um, it tells you exactly uh, what to do to figure out how to balance an equation. So um, before we even go through the FET, um, number two asks you which visual cues can be used on a test to see whether your equation is balanced or not. So the first thing that you can use, obviously, is this thing down here on the right. So on the right, it has the um, nitrogen and hydrogen balanced out right here. And it, it gives you the equal sign. And if they're not balanced, right, if we don't have six hydrogen and two nitrogen on each side, so that equation is not balanced, you're not going to get the equal sign here. The smiley face is always a good indication. Uh, obviously, down here, this board or this, I, I guess it's a balance um, where you have two and two and six and six showing you that it's balanced is a good way to show you it's a visual cue. And then finally, you can actually go up here and you can count one, two, one, two blue dots, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six blue dots. Those are the visual cues that you can use today while you go through this. So uh, this next question really goes back to a little bit about chemical reactions. So which ones are the reactants? And this is really easy because the reactants are always the beginning part of a reaction. So they're before the arrow or the direction the arrow is pointing away from. So our arrow is going from the left to the right. So it's pointing towards the right of the screen. So everything to the left of the arrow is a reactant. So that means O2 and NH3, right? Those are gonna be our reactants. This is, I think this is just a typo. Excuse that one, we gotta fix that. Um, that's just a typo, my fault, guys. All right, uh, which ones are the products of the chemical reaction then? It's the ones on the right side. So the arrow is pointing to the right, so the ones on the right side. So the ones are D, the chemicals on the right side of the arrow. In this equation, which ones are the products? Pretty easy question, right? 2F2 plus 1H2O are on the right side of the arrow. So there are your products. 2F2, well, it's really just F2 and H2O. Those are the products. We don't need to know how many. Okay. So those are there to help you along. Um, your actual thing today is to play the game. So you go to the game, go to easy level one, and it gives you a couple of different things to check, okay? So on this very first one, we have CH, sorry, C2H2 um, plus H2 gives us C2H6. So if we will add one carbon, or sorry, C2H2 molecule, we have two carbon, two hydrogen, that's not going to be equal yet to our two carbon and six hydrogen. So we have to increase our hydrogen to make it work. Great. We made it balanced. So you're just going to be adding coefficients in front of these until they work. Okay. Uh, over here, we have um, NH3 plus H2. I'm going to put a two in front of there. I'm going to put a three. Or sorry. I'm going to put a one there. So we have two N's on this side. Now we have two N's because one times two is two. And we have six H's over here. So I'm going to put three here to see if that works. So three times two is six. Great, it works. Uh, we'll do one more together here. CH3OH. Okay, so if we have one of those, we have one carbon. So we want one carbon. We have one oxygen as well. That's great. But we have one, two, three, four hydrogens. So we need two H2 molecules. So one, two, three, four hydrogens. One, two, three, four hydrogens. One oxygen, one oxygen, one carbon, one carbon. There we go. So those are all the different things that you can do to make this work, okay? If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have a fantastic day, everybody.